Hi, I'm Mike Patrick, and this is how to do a one-handed shuffle. It looks like this. You take the cards and shuffle them with one hand like this. The grip is a little bit unusual. You have three fingers on one end of the deck and your pinky and thumb on the other side. So if I remove the deck, it's like this. And if I place the deck back, it's around here. What you're going to do is divide approximately, and you want this to be relatively exact, you want to get half the deck to break off with your thumb. So I lift up with my thumb here, and these two fingers let go at this point. I'm going to move my thumb counterclockwise, pivoting along the index finger, and this packet is going to move clockwise. This is what it's going to look like. These two move at the same rate until they are here. The two outer fingers now regrip this edge and pull it so that they are even with each other. So it's a very slight adjustment when this happens, about a quarter of an inch depending on the hand, your hand size. You then take the two back portions and you shuffle those together with even pressure from your thumb. This is going to take the most work. Once it's, one more time, you have the pinky here and the thumb. You break upwards with your thumb. Your fingers move out of the way. It pivots around the index finger, so they swirl in opposite directions. I reapply those two fingers, aligning the packets, and then I place those together and I cause them to weave at an angle. So now I should have sort of a V from my perspective. So now the cards are ready to be bridged. I turn them over, I apply pressure like in a normal shuffle, and I let go of them. They will fall all over the floor when you try to do this. It's unavoidable. But eventually, you can, use, you can use your hand to cradle if you feel more comfortable. But eventually, over time, you should just be able to do it in the air like this. I'll go over it really slowly one more time. The, index, the pinky is here, towards this pip on that side. The thumb breaks the packet. I remove these fingers, and I pivot this across. They align with each other. These cards get farrowed into the other cards. And then I turn over and I shuffle them like this. Here's one quick variation that I can show you that I do. Uh, you can cut off about a third of the deck. And if you do that, when these cards are in this orientation, you can use your index finger to move this packet forward. So this just pivots along these, goes into this hand, and you do a thumb cut. So your thumb comes over, this opens up, and you can shuffle these into each other. This is going like this, and then you close. So to see that in speed, it looks like this. And that is how to do a one-handed shuffle.